there. I'm Todd Rhodes, and this is Minister Briefing. On the other end of the line is uh, my good friend Matt Steen. How you doing, Matt? Doing fantastic, Todd. Well, today we've got a great story about a pastor that uh, makes the headlines here every once in a while anyway. It's uh, Pastor Robert Jeffress. He's a pastor of First Baptist in Dallas. Huge, huge church. I know Leadership Network's offices are in Dallas, and I've driven past, and they're building this monstrosity. I forget how many, uh, 30 or 40 or $90 million, I don't know, uh, uh, building there in downtown Dallas. Uh, but this is a comment that uh, that he made, I think, on uh, 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 Bill O'Reilly a couple of weeks ago, um, or at least in reference to Bill O'Reilly. He, this is a quote that he gave, Matt. He said, I think one reason a lot of Christian leaders have the wrong idea about Jesus is that they see Jesus as this little wimpy guy uh, who walked around plucking daisies and eating bird seed and saying nice things but never doing anything controversial. And the fact is Jesus did confront the culture that he was in with truth and he ended up being crucified because of it. Okay, so um, kind of some strong language but so far so good. Uh, then he goes on to say wimpy pastors produce wimpy Christians and that's why we're losing this culture war. And I tell you what, wimpy pastors produce wimpy Christians I got, I got it. Okay, uh, he kind of lost me though when he said when he brought the whole culture war into it. Um, essentially, um, this is these are four things he says in in a quote that follows in the context of the conversation. This is how he would describe a wimpy pastor. So I'll throw these out there, and then I, I want to hear what you think about it because I've, I've got a couple thoughts too. Number one, you're a wimpy pastor if you shy away from controversy. You're a wimpy pastor if you care about keeping your church members. You're a wimpy pastor if you care anything about church attendance, uh, and you're a wimpy pastor if you don't tell the truth because of the consequences. Um, what do you think, Matt? You've been a pastor. Were you a wimpy pastor when you were a pastor, full time? Probably, in in according to him, prob probably. Probably. <laughs> I, I should agree with him on his fourth point. What was what was his fourth point again? The fourth point is you don't you don't tell the truth because of the consequences. I, I would agree. I would agree with him on that. Um, mm -hmm. I just I have a significant issue with it all being played out in the in the context of the culture war. Yeah, I do um, too. That's that's my biggest problem with uh, with what uh, Doctor Jeffers says here. Yeah, I, I just I, I have significant issues with that. I've I've always have. Um, you know, and and he's talking in this context. It was I saw the interview is about the war on Christmas, and you know, people people changing to Happy Holidays from from Merry Christmas, and it's you know, is this really what you're going to call call out the church on? Is is not fighting that particular point? I think also, um, you know, as I watched as I watched the interview, and the, the the link will be below is below us on the on on there, so you can watch it yourself, but. You know, he started talking about the progressive secularists and how we need to battle yes. them and fight for for all that's good and holy and all that. You know, and it's just mm -hmm. like, man, we're being awfully divisive to people that we really want to see eventually come come meet Jesus. Or exactly. We you just know, and, want to protect our religious rights. Well, and this isn't the first time. I mean, let's put some of uh, Doctor Jefferson's advice uh, to work, or at least how he's put his advice to work. I mean, uh, this is the same. Uh, pastor that came out uh, during the, the presidential election and said something to the effect of uh, about Mormons and Christianity and whether or not they should be uh, a president. Uh, he later backtracked on that. Uh, same guy that just a few weeks ago um, made some kind of a comment that the election of President Obama was going to in some way uh, facilitate the oncoming of the Antichrist. Um, you know, I guess if that's um, the kind of wimpiness that you know, if he if he suggests that we're wimpy because we're not saying these type of things, then I would rather be wimpy. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd agree with you. But well, I, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, anybody that's watching, leave a comment uh, below. Uh, you can like, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you really hated what we had to say. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can email us at ministerbriefing at gmail.com. We'd love to start the conversation and hear what you guys think um, as we move forward on this, but uh, tell us the question of the day. Are you a wimpy pastor? And if so, is that a good thing? See you next time.